Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is Quranic Amante and today uh, we will speak about uh, the Netflix series Messiah mm, as a Muslim, I mean from, from, from the Muslim point of view, given that I'm a Muslim um, and I mean with you know, in hindsight, what I would say is that uh, perhaps thinking about it, um, it was better if uh, I didn't see the series. Um, and that is because, um, you know, it's already a first temptation, you could say. The curiosity was strong. And so uh, to, to, to answer, in a sense, that urge, uh, the, the urge, um, I have checked it out. Uh, but at least I hope that with this video I can, uh, you know, like uh, <laughs> do convince others, m Muslims, uh, not to watch if not to watch it if they want to watch it uh, for curiosity and take some benefits, share some benefits w uh, with you that I that I I, I can I, I took by watching um, this series. Which, by the way, I mean, uh, ha it, it is a series by Americans for Americans in the way it is made. Uh, it's really the American style of cinema, so with scenes that are not uh, good and that you would need to skip, as at least. And um, despite as uh, despite the fact that, for example, the 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 director, the producer, really showed deep knowledge of some elements of Islamic sources, uh, some ahadith and so on, and actually they are used within the series actively with Arabic quoting Quranic verses, quoting ahadith that refer to the coming of Jesus and so on. Some people referring to the protagonist as the uh, you know the actor as the Dajjal, and then there's this all, there's all questions of doubt but what what was interesting indeed was the fact that this guy which in my opinion at the end of the day is a con man uh, a really good illusionist you could say uh, for various elements which are not I mean various elements and religious theologically speaking he's a con man a Dajjal a liar because there are relevant ahadith that this person in the actor did not respect but of course you do not expect the person the, the, the you know the movie to really depict uh, things exactly exactly following all of the islamic sources like for example the fact that uh, the mm, you know the mm, the messiah is said to come uh, in the ahadith after the coming of Mahdi and after the full-fledged coming of, of, the, of the antichrist so the coming of these guys only makes sense if the Mahdi is there somehow and uh, I mean if this guy is the Dajjal actually so in any case this guy is a Dajjal or the Dajjal um, it really doesn't matter but I have to say that this series as a Muslim gave me a lot of goosebumps and that is because there were some very powerful scenes of this guy doing fake miracles and faking the fact that he knew knowledge of the invisible and they were very very compelling and you would say come on man you know that the Dajjal is going to do that. Yes, but in the movie, you will see... I, I, what I've seen is that uh, there was a lot of playing on emotions. And emotions today in the, in the age of... Uh, in the age of social media plays a, a big role so people for example were starving hungry desperate and they hung to this person who knew exactly how to put there some tricks to manipulate text uh, religious texts to to his advantage and people just believed it in flock especially in a society that is now materialist and um, and that denies God, denies the Creator, denies the capacity of the Creator to intervene into the reality, when they finally see miracles or what, what's actually illusions and so on, people just go crazy, you know? So this was the first thing really that, the, one, of, one of the things actually that, the, that struck me. Um, the other thing was uh, the usage, in a sense, of uh, of Islamic sources. It made reference, for example, to the hadith where it says that Jesus, the son of Mary, peace be upon him, will, will return with a certain uh, clothing, you know, uh, wearing yellow clothes and so on, and uh, uh, etc. Basically, and, and people believed the person and they quoted the hadith and in, the, in their desperate, oppressed situation, because this Dajjal in the movie basically rose from Syria, the the, the, the Syria that was basically torn by war and the context was in defeating Daesh. So this is even more scary because this person initially appeared as if he, as if he was a Muslim and then a Christian and then and, and so on and so forth, you know, just playing around with all the religious uh, texts, uh, defeating 
what even Muslims consider as enemies and disbelievers such as the Daesh guys, um, the ISIS guys. And so it's very compelling and, and you wonder, I mean, uh, this, this scene is epic, everything is set up so that this person is exalted and you feel in awe. And the way the scenes were built, even thinking about it, it's amazing in the sense that you feel like this person transudes charisma. The, the actor, the, the, the character that was built, transudes enormous charisma. And the person acts as if the, it is really like the Messiah and so on. You know, always pondering, always acting as if he knows what's going to happen, he knows what to do and so on. And, that, and they capture the heart of the people in the movie. And that tempts the heart, I would say, also of the viewer. And so in that case, really knowledge and and so on is is very important and you know many uh, overzealous not overzealous I would say zealous at this level it's zealous zealous young Muslims and I was among them I am still young but uh, uh, you know when I was even younger you we all went through the you know Imran Hussein phase where you said okay come on the Jala I'm ready bring it up I'm ready to to know to fight you and so on but when you see scenes from a movie such as this which is made very realistically and in a contemporary setting you feel scared and you understand why the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said that if the Jah were to come and you know there's no leader there's no Imam and so on just run away if you cannot go to Imam if you do not have the, the, the Mahdi's community to stick with just run away run for your even more than running for your life run for your faith that's what it is so yeah it was interesting. I hope you benefit from this and that this would constitute in part a sort of a tauba on my part from the slash, so to speak, mistake. I mean, next, if another movie like this were to come out, I'll try my best not to look uh, at it. But it was nevertheless interesting to explore the idea and I hope you also find it interesting so that, you know, you just take what's best from it and you can, we can discuss it more in the comment section so that you take the best of it without going through the all charade of the of the episodes of, of the series. And with this, I greet you with the greeting of Islam. Peace be upon you. Assalamu alaikum. And don't forget to subscribe and like to support the channel.